The Bible says God created all things. Revelation chapter 4. Heaven is my throne, earth my footstool, God said. Hath not my hand made all these things? The Bible's real clear that God made the world. The Bible says He formed the eye. Charles Darwin said in his book, To suppose that the eye could have been formed by natural selection seems, I freely confess, absurd. How can blind chance make a seeing eye? Mm -hmm. After saying this, Darwin went on for the next couple of pages to try to explain how he thought it might have happened. Anyway, he still believed it, but he said it was clearly absurd. The back of your eyeball is about one square inch, and yet it contains 137 million light-sensitive cells. How would you like to be the electrician to hook up 137 million connections in one square inch? Uh, my Heavenly Father did. He's pretty smart, ain't he? I got a call from an atheist one time. But actually, he did a debate on the radio. He said, Hovind, you're dumb. He said, don't you know the eye is an example of poor design? I said, really? He said, yeah, it's wired backwards. He said, the blood vessels are in front of the retina, and the light coming through has to go through the blood vessels to hit the retina, and it blocks out some of the light. He said, the octopus has a much better eye because their blood vessels are behind the retina. I said, well, sir, let me explain a couple things to you. I said, uh, we live in the air. Air does not block UV light very well. And UV light will destroy your retina. So you have blood vessels in front of your retina to block the UV light. Now, octopus live in the water. <laughs> water blocks UV light. So they don't need the blood vessels in front. They can actually see better underwater than you could. But if you want to swap eyes with an octopus, go ahead, because in a few days you're going to be blind. So we are designed just fine for living in the air, and they are designed just fine for living in the water. I said, do you have any other dumb questions? <laughs> said, no, that was it. Click, hung up. <laughs> what they're trying to say is God wouldn't have done it that way, so it must have evolved. But it's a dumb argument for evolution. Arguing against creation is not proof for evolution. You know, they say it would take 100 years of cray computer time to simulate what takes place in your eye many times every second. You can walk into the room and look around, and in one second, your eyeball picks up enough data to keep a cray busy for hundreds of years, sorting out what you just saw in one second. This textbook, though, says, the complex structure of the human eye may be the product of millions of years of evolution. Why doesn't God get the glory for what He made, huh? This textbook shows two different types of animals' eyes, and it says, boys and girls, you can better understand how the eye might have evolved if you picture a series of changes. In other words, you have to imagine how it happened. That's because we never really observe it. You just imagine that it happened. That's not science, folks. You can imagine all you want, but that's not observable, testable, demonstrable. It's a lie. The eye is far too complex to have evolved from anything. It had to be designed. The Bible says God formed the eye. That's the only way I can explain it. Somebody extremely smart had to make it. Science deals with things we can observe and test and study and demonstrate. Most Americans do not believe the earth is millions of years old. Most of them believe God did it. Now, if you want to believe otherwise, you just enjoy yourself, but you're in the minority and you ought to go start a private school and teach it with your own tax dollars or with your own money. Don't use my money to teach your religion in our school system. Okay, if something is designed, like the eyeball or anything else, it demands there was a designer. If you find a painting, that is evidence there was a painter. If you find a building, that is evidence there was a builder. If you find a watch, that's evidence there was a watchmaker. If you see a creation, that's evidence of a creator. Whether you ever meet him or not doesn't matter. Design demands a designer. The Bible says the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen. They are without excuse. But... They became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. They didn't want to glorify God. So they chose to believe the obviously silly idea that we all came from a rock. The psalmist said, When I consider thy heavens. See, Satan knows anybody that really studies science with an open mind is going to be drawn to the Creator. And he's worked really hard in the field of science to draw people away from the Creator. That's why he's worked in that field particularly hard. 